are gods, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can Well who the Jews today? Okay. Who are the Jews? That's a great question, right? That's heavy, right? Give me Isaiah 1. I'm going to ask you questions to see where you're at, and then we're going to show you who you are according to the Bible, okay? Because you're not black, sisters. Right. You're not African-American, sisters. Right. The so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and we say so-called because you're not black. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. That's right. That's heavy, and that's something that you need to know. You understand? Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Go ahead. No, no. The ox knoweth his owner. So the Most High is saying that the ox knows his owner. He knows who his God is. He knows what, what who provides for him. Right? Read. And the ass is master's crib. And the jackass, the donkey, knows where his homeland is. He knows where his master's crib is. Read. But Israel does not know. Saying that the Israelites do not know who they are, who their God is, where their homeland is. Right. Read. My people. Stop. He said, my people. God is saying that his people, his chosen people, does what? Does not consider. They don't right. know and they do not consider who they are. We've been taught to accept African American. How in the world are you from two different places? How can you be from Africa and America? Right. How can you be African American? Do you understand that the word Africa came, was named after Leo Scipio Africanus? You heard that before? So the land of Africa was named after a so-called white man. Right. How can that be your nationality? America. America was settled and, and, and conquered Amerigo Vespucci, right? And they named, they called the land after his name. So how can you be an American named after a so-called white man? Right. And then to add on to it, you named after two so-called white men. Right. And to add even further to it, African-American is a new term on the earth. Right. That started in the 80s with Jesse Jackson. How in the world is your nationality younger than your parents? Does that make sense? So the, so the question should be, who is the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans today? Do you know? You guess you're Israelites? Yeah. Can we prove that you're the Israelites according to y'all? Y'all read the Bible at all? I read my verse for the day. You read your verse for the day? Okay, so you have some form of understanding, right? So you believe in you believe in God, you believe in the Bible. Is your history in the Bible? Yeah. Bring it out! Slavery? So let me show you how we know that you're the Israelites, okay? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Right. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What we're bringing out is, the Bible is a handbook. It's a handbook to turn the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans into gods on this earth here. It's a handbook to show you how to rule, show you how to run your household, how to run, the, how are you supposed to move in your community? Right. It's more than just a book where you, you make you feel good and you get your verse of the day, right? right. You can read that to try and get some type of inspiration and keep going on throughout the day, right? It, yes, so the Bible is for that, but it's more than just that. This is your historical records of the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans. Right. Your foreparents wrote this book right. Right. for you. 
Read it again. And it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Go to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, Go that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations on the earth. So, we, we constantly looking for answers in our community. We're constantly looking for a solution to the issues in our community. The Most High God says, all we have to do is follow his law, statutes, and commandments, and he'll set you on high above all nations on the earth. You don't have to worry about the issues that we're worried about now. What's some of the issues going on in our community today? You're wrong. Huh? Violence? Go ahead. What about you? Drug. Drug addiction? What about you? Gang. Gang membership, right? What else? Um, politics. Disease. Right. Look at, look at what's going on, and, and what do we turn to for, for a solution to our issues? We got, we got little signs up here that says Bernie. BernieSanders.com. What are you, you registering the vote? You registered already? Yeah. You did too? We'll deal with that in a second. Matter of fact, we need to deal with that now. You got a homework assignment that you need to finish. Let me show you who you are real quick, okay? Deuteronomy 20. Let's get straight to the point then. Because how do we know that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites, right? I'm going to show you this real quick, and then you can go ahead and do your homework. But your homework is not more important than this. This is the most important homework that you can do right now. You're not, it's not due today, is it? Before 12? All right, read that. 28, give me, give me 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Because how do we get here in this country? On a slave ship. On a slave ship, right? What about you? So how do we get here to this country? Slave ship? Slave ship, right? Read that. It's the slave book ship of Deuteronomy. Read. Chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It says the Lord is going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. What you're going to find out is Egypt is synonymous with bondage, with slavery. It's a Greek word deriving from Egyptos, which means bondage. What? Right? So it says the Lord is going to send the Israelites into Egypt, into slavery again with ships. What nation of people went into slavery on slave ships? Black people, right? Your foreparents endured that thing. What? That's the only reason why we're standing here now. is because your foreparents had to deal with the torture. Because that's all it was, was torture. The person next to you dying right next to you. The slave masters call you up there and he rapes you on the boat. You're running around naked. They shoving food in your mouth. You're not trying to eat from them, but they shoving the food in your mouth, breaking your teeth. All those things our four parents endured. Right. You're watching your brothers and sisters getting thrown to the sharks. A right. hundred million of our people died during that middle past. The thing that we want to forget about. Right. The thing that doesn't come to our mind every time this Bible comes out and we got homework to do. Right. We have something better to do than to hear this Bible here. And not understand the cross that our family had to bear in order for us to be in the situation that we're in now. Right. And we got our enemies sending, putting signs up talking about vote for Bernie. Vote for them to keep us in this same cycle. Right. Read again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. Our people need to wake up. And, so, the, go ahead. and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Since God is going to bring the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans into slavery again on slave ships. Because we, didn't, we refused to keep his laws, this is why it happened. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The same way Moses says it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt not see it no more again. We will never see our homeland, our motherland again. And they got us thinking that our motherland is Africa. Your motherland is not, what's, what's the motherland? Come on, sis. What's the motherland? Greenland. Huh? Greenland. What happened? Oh, Greenland. Greenland? Yeah. What about you, sis, that has the home up there? You think in Africa, right? Let's get the motherland. We're going to show you something today, and hopefully y'all hold on to it and take, take note. Read that. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Go ahead. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, Go ahead. which is the mother of us all. Jerusalem is the motherland. Jerusalem right. is where we were created. 
Right. That's where we're from. Now, we, we, yes, we were taken from Africa. We migrated into Africa during 70 AD, the siege of Jerusalem, right? But that's not where we're from. Right. Just like America is not where we're from as a people, our nation. So I'm going to ask you now, what's your nationality, sis? You don't know? Huh? It's a lot, isn't it? It's a lot, but it damn sure is not black. I, I, listen, if, if in all power that you have in yourself, never call yourself a black person ever again. Your, your socks are black. Your shoes are black. You're more than just a color in the crayon box. Right. Right. Israel right. means that you're a prince that has power with God. Your, hey, name, right. your name means something. You understand that? You're more than just a black person on this earth here. You're the greatest people to get that in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The so-called black Hispanics and Native American, you're the greatest people to ever walk the face of this earth here. Right. Right. And it's time that we wake up and take back who we are. Right? Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Right. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, you're a holy people unto God. Holy, you're separate, you're set apart, you're special. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You were created to be above all people. Let me ask you a question. The Bible just said that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans were created to be above all people on the face of the earth, right? Let me ask you a question. Who are the best cooks on the earth today? Let's take it to a basic level, right? Black people, right? Black people, right? Black people, right? Who are the strongest people on the planet today? Black people. Hello. How you doing? How you doing? Who are the fastest people on the planet today? Black Who are the smartest people on the planet today? Black. Who created the stoplight, the toilet bowl, all these different inventions that they took credit for? <laughs> Electricity was created by our people. They just took credit for it. Read that again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Yo. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. It says the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans are a holy people, a special people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You were created to rule this earth here. That's right. Right. You understand that? You were created to be above all people. That's why our people are the best at everything. Our skin is better than anybody else's skin on the planet. Right. Your hair is better than anybody's hair ever on the planet. Right. But they have to show you images of themselves as beautiful, destroying your image. Read that in Hosea 3 again. That's why it's important to get our image back, our true image. Get the true image of God back. Right. right. Get the true right. image of Jesus Christ back. Right. Because that right there is not Jesus Christ. And that right there is the root cause of all the problems in our community today. Right. Right. That image right there. That lie right there. You ask yourself, why did they have to lie to us? Read that again. The book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. Go ahead. Go. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. The children of Israel are abiding right now without a king. Think about it. They got an electoral college. So the popular vote, the people that, the, 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 the person that the, the most people vote for doesn't even win. Right. Does that make sense? The question is, what are you going to do about it? Read it again. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Without a king. And without a prince. And without a prince. We don't have a king nor a prince nor his son. We don't know who our God is nor who God's son is. Right. So we go praying right. to our enemies. We go into the Christian church celebrating Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, knowing the thing is pagan. Right. We know Christianity is pagan. That's not even nothing to debate. That's not your heritage. Read. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Go ahead. And without a prince. Go ahead. And without a sacrifice. And without a sacrifice. No one can tell you, look, you're going off. Brothers and sisters, we got to get right. But I died for you. That sacrifice is Jesus Christ. Right. right. We abide many days not knowing that he died for our salvation. 
to get us out of the dung hill that we are in as a people today. Right, right. To get us out into the low income houses. Get us out of single parent households. You understand that? Get us out of society with the most diseases and STDs. Sexual promiscuity going on in our communities. Our young girls getting pregnant in their father's house. Not giving a damn about themselves. So they walk around half naked, over sexualized so men can lust after them. Is that what we're here for? No. No, it's not. Read on. And without an image. And without an image. The image of the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans has been taken away. We have no image. The only right. image that we do have is a gangbanger, a hustler, drug dealer, a right. pimp, a hoe. Yo. Or a politician. Yo. Or an Uncle Tom sellout dude that can care less about his people right. and who he is. Our people need to wake up. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. Most high God said that the children of Israel is going to be discontinued from your heritage. You think your heritage was for you to, 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 to make babies and not take care of them? That's your heritage? Or to join a gang, the Crips, Bloods, Vice Lords. That's your heritage? To be a, 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 a single black mother proud to not want her man? The women have to stand up by themselves? Right. And take care of the community? Is that your heritage? Read, read again. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Read it out. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from the inheritance that I gave thee. The Most High God gave us an heritage. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies uh -huh. in the land which thou knowest not. Understand something. Do you think that you serve? Are we serving our enemies today? I want an honest answer. Do you think that we're serving our enemies today? What about you? What's your name, bro? Jacoby. Jacoby? Yeah. Are we serving our enemies? Yes and no. When you say no, what do you mean? When you say yes, what do you mean? We are, but we're not doing it temporarily. How are you serving your enemies? We are serving our enemies by doing doing what they want to do. We are serving our enemies by celebrating how, how they work, everything to feed them because we didn't really feed ourselves. Okay. What well, about I say, but, but I say no. I say no because, well, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm chosen. You're welcome. What, what I say, say you doing what you want to do. Yeah, freely. Freely? Like, yeah. You really think you're doing it freely? Do yeah, yeah, I do it on my own principle, by my own, do my own principle, by my own way of life. 2840. Yes. Watch this, let me show you something. And I'm going to ask you if you're doing it on your own, okay? Okay. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Bring it out! Therefore, Shalt thou serve thine enemies? The Bible is saying you're going to serve your enemies. Let me ask you a question now, Jacoby. The people that did this to your four parents, are they your friends? Would your friends do this to your four parents here? Whip them, chop their hands off, sell them in slavery? That depends what friend you're talking about. Huh? That depends on what friend you're talking about. I'm, are they your friends? Would your friends sell you into slavery, Jacoby? Maybe Would your friends rape your sister? Day, yeah. Would your friends rape your sister? But now, no. Would your friends rape your mother? No. Would your friends tie you up to a tree and beat you half to death? You know? No. Would your friends hang you from a damn tree just for looking at their woman? No. no. There ain't no you know? maybe in this thing here. There is no maybe. That's the brainwashing and destruction of our people. Right. There is no maybe. They're your damn enemies, man. And we must start understanding that thing. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Go ahead. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. You will serve your enemies, Jacoby. Read. I'm which the Lord, that. which the Lord shall send against thee. God sent your enemies against you to do what? In hunger. When you go get food now, who do you go to for your food? I don't know. I'm going to do a takeout. Takeout, right? Who owns those restaurants? Mostly Asian, Hispanic. Mostly Asians. 
Yeah, and his friends too. Where they get the food from? The so-called enemies, yo, the white man owns that. No, no black person owns that dick? No, they don't. So when you go to eat, who do you get it from? Uh, I guess my enemy. That's right, read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee Go ahead. in hunger when you want and food. in thirst. When you want something to drink, your water bill. Who do you pay your water bill to? I guess my enemies. Now you guess you need to know that, bro. Yes, my enemies. Your enemies. Right. When you need water, you got to go to your enemies. Guess what? If they feel like turning the water off right here on this campus right here, you all would be, be without water. And you'd have to go home or go someplace with water. Right. If they turn the water off in our community, we all will die. Look what they're doing in Flint, Michigan. Bring it up. They purposely contaminated the water there. Right. Purposely. And now them people are feeling the effects of that thing. Right. Dying. Being poisoned. And who's doing anything about it? Who cares about it? That's the problem with our people. We do not care. But if the police would come right now and shoot one of these brothers down in the street, then we want to march and rally. Right, right. That's when things get real for our people. When we killing each other every day, and nobody gives a damn. Right. Read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy, Go ahead. which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, Go ahead. and in thirst, Go ahead. and in nakedness. If you gotta get your clothes, you gotta go to your enemy. Guess what? Your enemies is telling you what's fashionable to wear. Right. Right. Hate you have grown men wearing skinny jeans. Bring looking out. stupid. Right. Hate you have grown men wearing their pants below their behind thinking it's cool. Right. Right. Hate you have women dressing like street walkers now and it's acceptable. Right. Because society accepts that thing. Society tells you how to dress. Right. Society tells you how to act. Society tells you to vote for them. Accept them. Right. So you can stay where you at. Read on. And in nakedness, and in want for all things. Hey, Jacoby, yeah. you said that you do things on free will, right? You drive? You got a driver's license? Yeah. Where'd you get your driver's license from? At a DMV. Who gave it to you? Who runs the DMV, Jacoby? Uh, the white people. Your enemies. Your enemies own that thing. Guess what? Yes. If you want to drive, can you drive without that driver's license? No. No. So I'm asking you a question. Is this the truth? Are you serving your enemies willfully? What do you do willfully that your enemies don't control? Because you said, huh? Sleep. Sleep? Yeah. No, your enemy controls that as well, brother. Because oh, yeah, yeah. you sleep now. What's your nationality? Bring it out. Bring it out. What's your nationality? That's me. You Bring are asleep, brother. Where's that in Bro. Isaiah? The book of Isaiah, chapter 29 and verse 10. Bring it out. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. The like God poured upon the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans the spirit of deep sleep. This is a supposed to be a what a HBCU, and you got the same no one in your history as so-called black people. Right. No one who put you on slave ships. No one will give you the worst education. No one the oppression that your parents got to right. go through. And you let them put signs up telling you to vote for them. Right. To stay in the same system. Your enemy walks in here and does that. Right. We walk here though, but we're the problem. Because we're telling you that you're God's chosen people and you're better than that. Right. We're telling you who you are. Right. Our people been voting for the longest time. Some of our foreparents died for the right to vote. Right. They died for the right to vote and nothing changed. We're getting worse. So what the hell can Bernie do for you? The only person you need to be voting for is the Most High God.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.